Hey folks, it's Brian. Um, the scene that I'm doing a video, um, kind of the something that you know I've learned over the past couple of years, but about you know doing your barbecuing is the fact you got to season your grill. Um, last night, um, no, I should say last Sunday, while I was getting ready to cook a tri-tip, I was getting ready to use my Aussie walkabout, and the handle broke on it. And not only did the handle break on it, but when the stand that when the stands that holds up the, the grill on it and keeps it out of the coals um, came off too, so that meant um, it basically it was starting to fall apart. So I decided then and there that I was going to go back to what I knew, what, what my father knew, and I was get a uh, Weber kettle grill. And um, tonight I'm going to season that Weber kettle grill. So let me show it to you. Eh, sorry about that. Sorry about that little thing on it. There it is. It's my new Weber kettle grill, my new toy. I got the coals in it. I got a bunch of coals in it already. The seasoning. And um, in a few minutes I'll take the coals out of this out of my chimney. And start to and put it in the grill and season it. But first, while I'm out, while I'm out here, let's um, take a look at my other grills that I have. Okay, as you can see, here's my my Weber Jumbo Joe grill, which I use to I cook um, my Thursday night steaks for my mom and I. We, we're me and my mom, and we have our, you know, have our dinners. Um, my Weber Smoky Joe grill, which I still use, um, it's a few years old, and I use that to make my when I just want to cook for myself, cook a steak for myself. And finally, here is the. What I call now a pile of junk. The Aussie walkabout grill, which broke on me. Of course, it's not really Aussie. It's it's really a, it was made out here by a private cheap company. Um, and of course, I bought it for cheap at Home Depot, which I which I will never frequent again because of their of something your owner said about you know about people on welfare. But that's you know, a different story for a different time. But um, anyway, so. I'm going to now. I'm getting ready to go put this, put my glove on, put my mitt on, and dump the coals into the into the into the um, Weber kettle. Okay, there's the Weber kettle grill. Now let me go get the charcoal and light these dump it in there. Let me put a closer view on it. Let me really get to see. Closer view on there. So we get to see how this is gonna work. Now I put a lot of coals in there because I put a lot of coals in there because uh, you know you want to get it really hot so you get the grill real seasoned. You know, get all the machine oil and grease out of there. Burn all the machine oil and grease out. So here we go. Okay. The coals are on there. Grill on. on the inside and that's it that is the seasoning process and if you probably a little while later I'm going to show you what 
the end result is. Okay, as you can see, the seasoning process is pretty much um, well underway. It's pretty much been going on for a while, probably about an hour or so. Um, it probably will, you know, for about an hour. Got plenty of coals in there, keeping it getting nice and hot. Yeah, there you go. Let me get a better picture of that. Yeah. Got plenty of coals in here getting nice and hot. Burning off any machine oil red residue or any other contaminants that you know might have you know gotten in the manufacturing process. So when you you know I cook my meat for the first time on here, it'll be it won't taste like uh, machine oil or grease or anything like that. It'll be just pure meat and all its smoky goodness. Um, yeah, but I'm just probably gonna go all this probably gonna go all all night. So I'm gonna close the grill. Close the grill. And let the like how you leap through the What's he, um, can put it, let it heat up the, the lid, and get that nice and decontaminated or whatever, and, you know, hopefully, you know, so, uh, Sunday when I cook on it for the first time, oh, it'll be nice and cooked, yeah, now you can see it, yeah, it's about 8.30 at night out here in L.A., yeah, the it's now we starting to get darker earlier, so anyway, that's it. The seasoning process is going on, and um, probably have to clean out the grill tomorrow. All the charcoal is in there, so that's it.